Hi Stemper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Today um, I had a request for to do a mummy card and I decided to add a little something else because it was a quick card. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the mummy card and I will show you how to do the owl that make a bat with uh, punches. So let's get started. First thing that I did, I took a piece of uh, vanilla paper. I don't like to do my mummy in white because I think mummies are old, so it should be more antique-ish. So I use very vanilla. I use a piece of cardstock, five and a half by four and a half. And the reason why I say four and a half, I know the card it's just four and a quarter, but you want it longer so then you don't have to put your strip all the way straight. You can do a little bit of um, up and down in it. So you just rip that apart and when I rip, I just rip the the cardstock. It's no right or wrong way. I pre-started this one so we had um, some advance to the card. I didn't want you to watch me sponge everything. So what you have to remember though, the top and the bottom, you want to keep it separately. It doesn't matter top or bottom, it's just that you need your straight edge there. So we're going to put that aside. I use crumb cake for my sponging and when I sponge, I just go here and just sponge like this. And to make it even more look um, old, one thing we can do, I'm going to show you in a minute here. So you see I just sponge. I don't want um, round like this, so I'm just going to rub this a little bit so I don't see the... I was sponging too hard there when... Here we go. Okay, what I was saying about getting um, look older, you can take this and really rub your edge too so it look like your rag, it's uh, all bent or I don't know, it's look older. So first thing you want to do is put your eyes on your um, card and this is a regular card size so it is um, four and a quarter by five and a half so it's eight and a half by uh, five and a half. What I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how I did my eyes. I'm going to glue this one. I um, cheated here. I did one. What I use, it's I pre-punch one circle at one inch in the black and three quarter in the uh, white. The next step it's half inch in the black. So one inch, three quarter inch, and half inch. My glue is almost out there. And I put my eyes more in, so I'm going to make him look cross sided. Oh, this I should have moved it. I'm going to have to re glue that. Then I use my marker and uh, it's a real red but I'm using the writing tip you know it's two tip it's a brush tip and the writing tip and then I just do wiggly eyes uh, wiggly lines for his eyes so it's bloodshot whatever simple as that now his eyes it's done we're gonna glue the eye remember this one I said I moved it okay I want it to look in a bit so I'm going to put this eyes there. It doesn't matter if it's straight or not. Now we're going to start with the top and the bottom. Remember the straight edge? That's what we're going to start with. So I'm going to put this on top. And what I try to do is just line up the top there. Never mind about the side. I told you it's longer. And you will understand why I go longer. I tried the same length and then I didn't like it because when I was going this way I was short and then I had to mount it didn't look good. Now I'm going to do by his eyes. So I'm going to come here, put this and I just play with my layers here. So now you see if I would I would have to go straight and then I don't like it. Hopefully this is right on the side. Now I'm going to do the bottom of his eyes. That's what I like to cover first around his eyes. Okay. 
here we go and you see this don't worry about that I'm going to take care of that at the end so now just add lo your layers and I overlap up and down so and I bet this but I think this one can be up a little bit more because I want to make sure you know it passed my line there Here we go. Now we're going to keep on adding like this. And you see I go up, down, up, down. Because I think, you know, it's not straight layers. And then another one here. Okay, there, I told you I didn't like that. What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to rip this here. I'm going to lift this layer. Put that. Oops, there, it's not, it's too much on the, I have to go more under. I should have kept it maybe a little bit longer. Well, Here we go. This way. Okay, now you see I got a good mess. Here I could have maybe another layers. I can pull this here. Yep. So you just play with it. Okay. Now you see the mess that I got. And really, I like that I would have went a little bit more diagonal. See the back? You're going to take your scissors. I know I'm using my ribbon scissors. Shouldn't be used on paper. It's just this was Indy. I got another pair in order because I ruined this, this pair. And you just cut it all. Oh, here's another pair. You cut it very flush to your side of the car. And here you do the same thing. I rather open this and then I cut my layers. And for me, this is easier. When I did my straight line, I didn't like that everything looked too straight for me. For a mummy, I think it should have more character. That's the only reason why I did this. And look, the inside is good. Now you get the mummy. For the, um, the bat, the owl bat, what I did, I used my scallop um, square with the big shot, and I cut a piece. And the piece that you want, it's not the piece from the inside, it's the outside. So you want to make sure your piece pass this, because you want the wiggle uh, cutting this way. This one, I use the big oval, the extra large oval. This one, I'm just going to use the large. I think it's going to be better... Uh, proportion for the owl. We'll see. And then you cut your oval just about halfway. Then you take your owl. I already punched its eyes. I did the white and the black just on the um, like the punch is. Then in the back you put this wing. I think this one should be there. And then this wing. So now look we get our little bat. Now I'm going to take two dimensional and we're going to put that in the back here, back here. Voila. Peel those little puppy out and then I put the bat there. So now you get your mummy. Whoops. You get the mummy in the house. So it was two video for one. Here I put the spooky in the wicked cool uh, stamp set. That is it, Stamper. Hope you had a great day. Till next time, have a great one. Bye-bye.